For the people of the Marshall Islands, like Dize, there's another fact of life besides poverty that has profoundly affected their health. Between 1946 and 1958, 67 nuclear devices were detonated on and around the northernmost Marshall Islands. Measured in tons of TNT, it was the most extensive nuclear weapons testing ever carried out by the United States. The yield of those tests has been estimated at 1.7 Hiroshima shots every day, every day for 12 years. The largest explosion took place March 1st, 1954. Codenamed Bravo, it was a 15 megaton hydrogen bomb equivalent to 1,000 Hiroshima's. A miscalculation caused radioactive fallout to drift onto two inhabited atolls. More than 200 men, women, and children were on those atolls. Among them was Dize Langris, a four-year-old growing up on Rongelap. Young people at the time were saying that they thought the powder that was falling was from heaven. They rubbed their faces, hands, and legs with it, and that's how they got skin burns from the fallout. They were treated and then tracked to study the effects of nuclear fallout on human beings. Among them was Dize's father. Dize's father holding the... These are photos of her father Dize has never seen before. Looks like he's been treated for burns around his ear and... To make way for the testing, U.S. military authorities moved hundreds of Marshallese people off their home islands and resettled them on different islands. These dislocations triggered a chain of events that tore apart Marshallese culture and that continues to undermine their health. When you move people off their islands where they live to do the testing, you break down their entire community structure. What is the impact on health, you know, the, the stress issues? You contaminate their lands. They can't grow things that they used to eat. They get more diabetic because, you know, they're eating a Western diet. They weren't urbanized. But when you urbanize, infectious diseases tend to take off because tuberculosis is transmitted person to person, very close, very crowded. 